guys, today we are Mezco Toys. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the booth. Uh, fortunately, I was told there's no interviews going on this year, but uh, if you didn't catch the Facebook Live that I did, I'm just gonna walk through the booth again. We will have some pictures up. Uh, first, let's start with the Netflix series that we have here uh, debuting. They're supposed to be hitting around late 2018, fall, holiday season 2018. You have the Punisher. Look at the likeness on this guy. Awesome. Daredevil. Armored Daredevil. And Vigilante Daredevil. So this is our first time seeing these. Uh, as seen on Netflix. We've seen two of the Thor Ragnarok figures. Uh, well, obviously Thor and Hulk. And this is the first time that they're showing Hela. She looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'd be picking her up. Uh, you know, nice outfit. Uh, I'd have to see how she looks once they, you know, add some accessories to her. Uh, she looks a little too much like the Marvel Legends, I guess, uh, for me to spend that price point. But Thor's dope. I love the armored look on some of their figures. And uh, Hulk. Hulk's awesome. <laughs> All the way down to his toes. Look at that face. So, um, Popeye. We've seen Popeye before. We've seen the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters are, were delayed, um, but looks like they should be hitting holiday 2018. Over here we got some Batman, The Ascending Knight, and Catwoman. Also slated for late 2018. We've seen pictures of these before. And the deluxe Mezco edition Joker. We've also seen him. Now some of my favorites that we've seen for the show. There's five actually. Well, one was shown earlier before the show uh, and the other ones were just shown. So I'm gonna shoot over these. We've seen Spider-Man, we've seen Iron Man. Iron Man's up for pre-order. Uh, should be summer 2018. Wolverine we've seen. Doctor Strange. Both of the Spider-Man and Old Man Logan we've seen. Now, earlier, before the show, we saw Black Panther. Looking dope. I love the textured look in the, uh, in the fabric. Hopefully that transitions well to the figure. T'Challa. And we have Blade. Blade, I think, is a, a mix between a comic and a Wesley version. Wes Tongue tied. Wesley Snipes version uh, that they're doing here. You know, Mezco does their own thing sometimes with some of the figures, and usually it looks pretty good. This, I think, is awesome. Hopefully, he comes with a bunch of accessories, maybe like a decapitated vampire head, something cool. And this is slated for late 2018. I'm seeing on here a lot of late 2018. I hope that's not Mezco's go to for. Uh, their release dates, just in case everything gets um, backed up. Now here, we have Cable. Awesome looking, he has a cybernetic arm. He's got his armor, and underneath he still has, well that looks like he's got jizz on his pants. But besides the jizz on his pants, it looks like they have the fabric look. Uh, I, I, see, people next to me say it looks like he jizz on his pants. Cable got a little happy at Toy Fair, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, so I did ask Pierre if uh, that was going to be a new look that they're going for, the armored look. It just happens that some of the characters uh, require that armored look, so that's what they're going with. And it, to me, I think it looks awesome. 
So the ones that they can get the armored look that will, besides that, they still will go with the, as some people call it, the pajama look. I need to make an engine for Matt too, but he's Cyclops is awesome. I can definitely see them cut? doing one or two variants of Cyclops, Matt, uh, especially over the years. His costume has changed. And I think Cyclops would definitely sell well. Now that we've seen Father and Son, I'm assuming Jean Grey might be short, you know, not too far behind. And here's another favorite for me, Green Lantern, John Stewart. I haven't picked up a lot of the DC ones, uh, but I think I'm going to have to. If they do the Green Lantern Corps, uh, I'm, I'm on it. I am so on it. Superman, we've seen him. I did review him. Dark Side, I've been waiting for him for two, three years now. But we do have confirmation that he still is coming. You know, we're being told holiday 2018. We've seen Batman Beyond. And then these are, you know, Nightmare Batman and the Justice League characters. Harley Quinn down there, which we did see. Uh, again, referring back to the armored look. Flash here. Wonder Woman and Aquaman again according to Pierre here at Mezco if the armored look obviously goes with it and also Batman obviously tactical Batman if the armored look goes with the characters they will do it but that's not going to be their new go-to look it just happens that some of the characters require that um, you see Superman's got his pajamas on back there <laughs> You have to shoot him like I shoot him. Say hi to Paul. Say hi to Paul. Hi, Paul. I don't even know what's happening. Do it here. See? See? Say hi to Paul. Say hi to Paul. And uh, we got John Wick here. I, I'm hoping John Wick comes with a shitload of accessories, uh, alternate heads. You got to have banged up head on them. Uh, John Wick. Obviously, people love the movies. Not a bunch of uh, lines, but the action is all there. Jason Voorhees. We got some of the uh, Dawn of the Dead here. Ash. All these we've seen uh, pictures of prior. It's uh, Toy Fair. Clockwork Orange. Flyboy. Michael Myers, previously shown off. Yeah, but you had an existing slash for And... <laughs> the Living Dead dolls. Uh, you know, I just recently got into some of the Living Dead dolls. And it's a long-going line. Um, Mezco's doing real well with them. We have Catwoman here. Actually, I think this is a new one. I don't think they've shown that one. I could be wrong, though. But, god damn! 2019. Um, regular Catwoman, Spring 2018, and DC Universe Catwoman, uh, 2019. Living Dead Dolls blind box figures. And we got some other ones down here. Pencil sharpener. We've seen that. Series 35. Like I said, this line is going strong. Uh, it's got a lot of support. So Series 35 there. And these four actually look really dope. You got uh, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, and The Conjuring 2. I was wondering what the hell that was. The Conjuring 2, scary as fuck. I don't know if I'd want that in my house. Pennywise, hello, Pennywise. So this is the 2017 Pennywise. Um, I previously reviewed the classic. Um, definitely gonna have to review that one. Right, and then here's some more Living Dead dolls. I don't think they've shown this. I could be wrong. Uh, the Psycho Living Dead dolls. I'm going to leave this with you. They need to do like an American Psycho uh, Living Dead Doll. I'd, I'd definitely get that. There's some more. Like I said, Living Dead Dolls are going pretty strong on that. This is the bald guy that we got to get our free stuff from. 
<laughs> and uh, so these are mesets. You see they've got a, a, a long going line here of uh, mesets, DC Universe, some horror ones. You got uh, puzzle blocks. Got some puzzle blocks retros. Superman, Batman. We've seen the uh, the lower ones. Here we have uh, Exorcist, Reagan. This is um, the Mega Scales, Child's Play 3, Chucky. And Jason Voorhees. These, these look pretty dope. And besides that, got Flatso's. Their new horror pillows. Might as well drag your ass up here too. And these are the stylized, uh, new stylized figures that they're showing off here. They look pretty cool. I like the Exorcist. Jason Voorhees is cool. And I'm definitely feeling uh, Pennywise. Definitely creepy, but I like it. Alright, so. This is our walk around. If you guys didn't check this out on the Facebook Live, uh, this is going to be up obviously YouTube at the Mezco booth, Toy Fair 2018. We got a lot more to come. Thanks for checking this out. Like the video, leave a comment, let us know what you want to see. And uh, until next time, guys, happy hunting.